What's up guys, it's Lou here. This is Unbox Therapy and as you probably know, things are heating up in relationship to this iPhone 4S that we're all expecting this week uh, for delivery. And the reason is because we got some preliminary numbers, some benchmarks hitting the web um, that are basically putting this iPhone 4S at the top of the food chain as far as speed and graphics performance for a handheld. Now, whether you're comparing apples to apples <laughs> in the case of the 4 to the 4S or apples to Androids, uh, this device has basically impressed anybody who's looked at these benchmarks. Now, very quick disclaimer, benchmarks are not the be-all and end-all. Uh, there are oftentimes things at play that don't necessarily show up in the figures. For example, browser optimizations, so on and so forth. And benchmarks are generally a representation of a, a software and hardware relationship. So the software differences in the iOS platform uh, and, and the Android platform are going to lead to slightly different results. So keep that in mind when we look at these figures. But if you're expecting an iPhone 4S or considering one, you are definitely going to be impressed by what we're about to see, especially considering that the 4S carries an 800 megahertz a5 and and some of the android competitors are rocking significantly higher clock speeds so we're looking at anantech.com awesome site in relationship to benchmarks etc and what he's done is he compiled a list of the different benchmarks available on the web uh, he's made it real clean and easy to look at so this is where you're going to want to go if you want to examine these figures further but i'm going to give you the rundown necessary right here so the very first uh, benchmark we're going to look at is the SunSpider JavaScript benchmark. Uh, this is a browser performance benchmark, talking about how quickly you're going to load web pages, so on and so forth, the overall performance in a browser. And as you guys can see, um, the iPhone 4S is is pretty high up there. There's, there's one device that's faster, and that's the Galaxy Tab 10.9, which is running Honeycomb, and uh, that's a full-fledged tablet, of course. Uh, but in comparison to the iPhone 4, um, you can see that the iPhone 4S is almost twice as fast in the browser. Um, obviously, lower figures in this particular benchmark uh, indicate better performance. As we move down the list, we've got another um, browser performance benchmark, this one from Rightware. And in this case, higher figures are better. As you can see, the 4S tops the entire list, uh, again, almost twice as fast as the iPhone 4, which we've got down here. Um, and almost twice as fast as a number of different Android devices. Uh, something to keep in mind is that these Android devices are going to improve on this benchmark figure when they do get new software. At this point, the software they're running is pretty old, and everybody's expecting Ice Cream Sandwich very soon, which is going to improve some of these figures, probably bring them closer to where this Galaxy Tab uh, 8.9 is scoring, obviously running 3.1. A little bit further down, we've got Geekbench. Now, Geekbench is an overall sort of computing uh, benchmark. It's going to give you a general computing score. Uh, that's day-to-day -day processing, etc. And um, as you guys notice here, the iPad 2 is still significantly faster. Obviously, it's got that higher clock speed at 1 gigahertz instead of 800 megahertz, but not not a hell of a lot faster than the iPhone 4S. And the iPhone 4S has basically doubled the iPhone 4's figure here as well. Same thing goes in the processor integer performance. You've got a similar relationship between the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. S and you've got that doubling in performance from the iPhone 4. So uh, again, if you've used an iPhone 4 exclusively for the last uh, year or so, then this thing is likely going to feel a little bit faster in daily use. You're actually going to notice this. This is not something that's just going to show up on a benchmark. You're going to notice something that feels a little bit snappier, a little bit smoother, so on and so forth. And uh, the last thing we want to talk about, of course, is graphics benchmarks. Everybody wants to know how can the thing game. And um, as you might guess, it's similar to the rest of it, uh, rest of the benchmarks. The iPad 2 being at the top again, it's kind of, it's kind of strange to compare an iPad 2 in this category because you can't stick it in your jean pocket. But um, it's there in case you've used an iPad 2, then you know kind of what to expect from a performance standpoint. And once again, um, in relationship to the iPhone 4, this is where we're seeing a big, big improvement. Um, you know, some have suggested seven times. It's almost seven times or almost exactly seven times performance improvement from Apple's A4 chip all the way down here at the bottom of the list. Uh, here's the phone I'm using right now, the Nexus S. Um, and as you guys can see, I mean, we're, we're on a different planet with these figures. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how the new Android software brings some of these Android dev devices closer. But uh, as of right now, 
um, graphics, CPU, web browser, you name it. This thing is coming off impressive and uh, it's, it's all the more reason to be excited for the release. Uh, as, as I told you guys before, I will be in line like a crazy man. I'll cover the entire lineup as well as what's going on at the mall and so on and so forth. On this channel here, I'll be reporting. And uh, as soon as I get it, uh, you know, whether I got to pay somebody in line or whatever the hell I got to do to get it on this channel, I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to put together the highest quality unboxing and review as quickly as humanly possible. So as soon as I get it, I rush back home. You got the idea. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're going to want to do so because as I said before, uh, I'm going to get that thing up here as soon as possible so you guys can get real up close and personal with that new device <laughs> anyway guys as always i want to thank you for watching and supporting my content you guys make this stuff possible and uh until next time i'll see you around all right later guys